There are a lot of websites that you use on your day-to-day -day basis that are actually built on Webflow. Even though Webflow has only 1% of the market share, we see many and many more enterprises, big companies and serious big tech coming into Webflow and using Webflow for their marketing website, for their platform, for their technical development um, they want to use Webflow for. And that's why we wanted to create this short video showcasing some of the products you probably use on your day-to-day -day basis that you didn't know actually use Webflow for uh, their backend system. The first thing I want to go over is Discord. I mean, everybody who has been in some sort of a community these days, I don't know, there are a lot of crypto communities. Maybe if you went that route uh, or pur purchased an NFT or something like that, you are in Discord. Or on the other hand, if you are playing games or something like that, you've been in touch with Discord at some point. So here we can see a pretty great use case of how Discord is uh, using Webflow for their marketing pages, they're using a video, and they're basically probably using Webflow mostly for expressing their brand in the best possible use case, because we can see all of their fun illustrations, the fun video in the hero, illustrations for games, etc, etc, showcased across the Discord Nitro page. And there are more and more pages on, the, on Webflow that Discord is using. But usually with these enterprises, they're using reverse proxy, so not all of the page marketing pages are on Webflow. And a simple way you can see that the page is in Webflow is by scrolling to the top and seeing last published or data WF domain and seeing on which domain this page is on currently. The next example we want to go over, and this is actually one of our clients, because at Flow Ninja we work with top uh, startups, enterprises, uh, and companies and helping helping them realize ideas faster with Webflow as a tool. And in this case, we can see a pretty interesting example of how Upwork has used the Webflow CMS to power a huge resource center. I would say they have more than like two, 3,000 CMS items here, maybe even more than that. I'm like, I, I stopped counting at, at one point, but you can see, okay, they have different guides. So let's create a different post page for that. Uh, they have different success stories. So we created a different post page for that. Then they have researches they're doing. So they have a different post page for that. And they even have custom, I mean, landing pages for some specific researches so that you don't have to hand off PDFs to your customers because it's 2023 almost. You can actually create a full blown page for your research and showcase all of the data in a visual way. I wanted to go ahead and these kind of top five websites that you didn't know use Webflow and go over different examples. So the different use cases of Webflow of how do you want to say it? And that's why I wanted to go ahead and showcase this e-commerce brand, Frontorio Cavalli. So it's not to go back to Cavalli, it's, it's a different, it's a different brand, but just showcasing all of the things you can do on Webflow for these custom niche stores that are just a branding experience. I mean, sometimes people want to use Webflow for some large, complex e-commerce stores, which I'm going to say, okay, that's probably not the best use case. You're going to need a lot of Shopify plugins in the back end. But if your brand is premium, if you have um, like a brand story to tell on your marketing website, that's where Webflow is going to be a great tool to go ahead and create a, a website like this, where like, yeah, I haven't seen anything being sold like at this level, at this quality, um, at this experience level and like just figuring out the ingredients, the images, uh, other thing, I mean, like recommended products and like oils they create, et cetera, et cetera. So it's going to be a great showcase if you're maybe exploring Webflow for your company or if you're exploring Webflow to showcase to your clients. Um, then NCR, I know many of you are probably going to see and, and ask, what is NCR? Well, like, well, what is that? Uh, that was me also, but then I went to my ATM machine and figured out that the NCR is uh, making the ATM machine. I went to the pay to the store and figured out that NCR is paying for that also. So, but by just taking a look at that, I figured out, okay, NCR is basically into the payment processing and everything payments related across the whole world. And they're like one of the biggest enterprises on that. And just because of that, you can, like, it's pretty fun for, to see how they're using Webflow for their solutions. I mean, like uh, restaurants, retail, et cetera, et cetera. And um, like showcasing that to maybe your potential customer or to your CEO or something like that, um, as Webflow can handle those kind of pretty big companies. I, I think they're currently getting a, a, a million and a half visitors per month on the website. So that showcases just how robust the Webflow CMS and the Webflow hosting itself is. And then the final one, as, as a pun, I know that Amazon Care is still not um, like it's not supported like from December 2022. 
I mean, like from the 31st of December, but taking a look at, okay, even Amazon used uh, one of their, like hosted one of their websites on Webflow and that can show how reliable their uh, hosting is and how reliable the system as a whole is uh, because Amazon decided to use it for one of their products. And there are probably a lot more products you can, uh, that Amazon is using Webflow for, but it's, it's just gonna take uh, like a million of years to go ahead and identify all of that. So if you have some of the websites you, see, you saw that are using Webflow, but you didn't have any clue that are using Webflow, uh, shoot a link down below in the comment section. And until the next video, bye-bye.